This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Professor Chris O'Callaghan tells us about the role of our immune system in vascular disease. Hello, Chris. Hi. What is atherosclerosis? Well, atherosclerosis is a narrowing of the arteries. Arteries are blood vessels that supply blood to tissues or organs. And it's very common over time uh, for those arteries to fur up or to get narrowed inside. And when that happens, blood, which is normally supplying oxygen and nutrients to the tissues, can't get through so easily to those tissues, and that might be the heart or the brain or the kidney, for example, um, become starved of oxygen and nutrients, and, and they become damaged. So in the heart, that could cause a heart attack. In the brain, that might be a stroke. In the kidney, it might cause the kidney not to work properly. So it's, it's a, an important cause of disease. And what is the role of the immune system in vascular disease? Well, I think over time people have tended to think of atherosclerosis as a fatty, a deposit of fatty material inside the wall of the artery, as though there's a blob of butter or something like that just inside the wall. And there is certainly fatty material in the wall, but increasingly we realise that it's not just fat which is deposited there. The narrowings in the arteries, which are, are essentially lumps that form in the wall of the artery, are stuffed full of little immune cells. Uh, immune cells are um, like white blood cells. They are designed, or they seem to have evolved, to fight infection and to protect the body from um, abnormal situations. And it seems though in some way, um, in atherosclerotic um, deposits in the artery wall, they're getting into those deposits and finding that tissue uh, abnormal in some way, probably because of the fatty material. But then once that happens, they set up an inflammatory reaction, a very irritant reaction, and that makes things worse. It's a vicious cycle. That then starts to bring in more fatty material, and the cells uh, create more irritation, and that causes a lot of damage to the blood vessel wall. So the immune system plays a really important role in the development of atherosclerosis in the artery. And what scope is there for developing new therapies? We've got some quite good therapies now that are designed to lower the levels of fatty material, um, but we haven't really got any therapies that are specifically designed to um, target the effect of the immune system in atherosclerosis. And so I think an increased understanding of how the immune system plays a role in the development of these furring up of the arteries, the atherosclerotic lesions, um, will help because that's, that's an area we just haven't really targeted any treatments to. And we now know that it's very important, so I think it will help over time. What are the most important lines of research that have developed over the past five or ten years? Well, I think there has been an increasing appreciation of the role of the immune system in uh, the development of atherosclerosis. But I think also over more recent years, the development of technologies that allow us to do a lot of DNA sequencing um, have uh, or to look at um, which bits of DNA are important in giving people a risk of atherosclerosis. And those have allowed us to make quite significant advances in our understanding of the disease. And uh, we, we're certainly applying those in our own, own group now. So why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? Well, I think, first of all, atherosclerosis is a very important cause of disease. It's the major cause of death in the UK and in almost all other countries around the world, apart from one or two sub-Saharan African countries, but it's far and away the most important cause of death. So I don't think that's difficult to justify. We clearly need uh, more treatments for atherosclerosis. Uh, our own research is studying the immune system. I think that's an area uh, that is increasingly recognised as important in this condition. But um, nevertheless, I think we haven't yet got good treatments that have come out of that research, and we're keen to do that. Uh, we're now deploying um, some very uh, modern approaches using high throughput DNA sequencing to look at the effects um, of the atherosclerotic environment on immune cells and to try and understand how they respond and what their response is and how, therefore, which aspects of those cells we might want to target with treatment in the future. And finally, how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? Well, our group um, spans quite a wide range of technologies. So we, we are using uh, basic science in the laboratory, but we also run some clinical trials. So we have a whole spectrum of activity, and quite a lot of our work does involve patients, but some is just done in the laboratory. So we're acutely aware of the need um, to translate 
basic laboratory science into new treatments and we're trying to identify new um, targets for drug treatment, new pathways for drug treatment in the laboratory and then spot those which may be translatable and bring them forward. Um, and that, that's for us. So we're very, very much involved in the translational activity in the department. Thank you, Chris.